Hi there, this is Joe from Creative Empowerment and today we are doing a three card spread following Spirit's Guide, which is what this whole reading will be about. We're using the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn and she has a particular spread which is a, just a three card spread, but it's about the core of a challenge. And I have a challenge coming, you know, into my life at the moment and the challenge is around my connection with Spirit. As someone who reads for other people and as someone who uses my connection in, to spirit as my way or my vehicle for my business and my work it is a challenge that I would like to move beyond there may be something that you would like to work on that you can use this particular spread for So this three card reading is a simple one. You know, there's lots and lots of versions of three card reading. This one can take you to the core of a challenge. If there's a specific area that needs attention in your life, the Sacred Forest Oracle can assist you in understanding the best way to proceed. Choose three cards and lay them face down, left to right. Turn them over one by one and to reveal the messages from spirit. Our first card is the Blockages card. And these are such beautiful cards with the beautiful pegasus on them and the person flying with pegasus and i even though i know i'm picking a reverse card it's just the way that it's coming out i don't even know if i can't remember if she uses reversals in the, this deck anyway the healing card and again i want another reverse card jeez this is going to be a great reading and the third card is the outcome card which i'm going to take an upright card so our first card is the blockages card and it is the protection card, Guardians of the Land. And it's a number 21. It has a stag in it, which I love. That I can see that stag. Now, these are beautiful images, beautiful imagery. I'm going to turn it upright so that you can see what it looks like. And it is a beautiful card. It's quite a deep card. That You know, it's right in the, the midst of the forest, really deep within. It has a stag in it, a stag at one point was coming to me as a spirit guide or as a spirit animal that was making a connection to me. But I, I don't know if I really explored that because it was very early on. So that's interesting. But I'm going to, to, to reach for the guidebook and have a look what Denise says. Oh my goodness, it's so funny because I've just done um, the four directions spread, which is the last video you may have seen if you're playing along with me. If not, go back and watch it. And... The card was all about being safe, it was about protection, and it, it was coming in with the wolf, again, another, you know, totem animal or animal that I've worked with. And there's a lot of stuff going on in my heart while I'm doing this, like I'm feeling quite a lot of um, tension around the heart. This And Denise doesn't use um, a reversal in these particular cards, so I'll read you what she's written and then we'll have a look at what this meaning could mean because it's reversed. Guardians of the land, protection, you are safe. These words seem to emerge from the land and radiate from the trees to echo in your soul. You hear these words again and again. The sacred guardians of the land are whispering to you, you are safe. You know that you are protected and cared for. You can feel tendrils of their loving energy wrap around you and embrace you. Their unleashed power cocoons you in safety. You are enough, just as you are, no matter what has happened or occurred in the past. The truth is that you are absolutely and unconditionally enough as you are. You are loved, you are cherished. Do not be concerned about outside forces and the judgments and expectations of others. You are protected in your own energy field. This card can appear when you need to take steps to protect your energy. While the guardians of the land will help you out, you must be responsible for your own well-being Envision a protective shield around yourself and around your home. Spend time with people and in situations that uplift your energy rather than draining it. The spirit of the guardians of the land says, You are safe and surrounded by a protective shield. You are not alone. Your life is guided and protected by higher forces within you can soar to great heights. While that is the message, because it came out reversed, and I, while I was reading that, I can feel what my body's doing. As an empath and someone who's very clear sentient, my body picks up on the energy of things. And as I was reading those words, those words aren't what I'm experiencing. And as this is the blockage card and it is reversed, it indicates what needs to be resolved to, to clear the challenge. 
So to clear this challenge, instead of knowing that I am protected, because I know that I'm protected, but I have had a shield of protection up against me so that my, or around me, so that my heart doesn't get hurt. And what that does, or what that is doing in my life, is telling me that I am not supported, that I don't really believe that I am protected. Even though I feel protected, there is an aspect of me or part of me, or a part, you know, I don't know if it's a part, that, that bit's confusing in my head. There is a belief still that I am not supported, that I'm not being looked after. And that is the challenging belief. That is the belief here that I need to overcome because it is the block that I am experiencing with my connection to spirit. And that makes so much sense. The next card is the healing card. This card is the middle of the spiritual tool that helps resolve the obstacle presented by card one. Forest Temple, Enlightenment. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, goodness. Spirit is such a comedian, I tell you. 19, Forest Temple, Enlightenment. So again, I'm going to turn this card up the right way, but it is going to be not exactly how I'm experiencing it because this is, looks like Denise in this picture, doesn't it? Um, the the person. So I've just brought that so close so you can see it's a bit like Denise. Denise Lynn, not that I know her personally or anything. <laughs> okay, the sound of delicate chanting fills the forest. You follow the sound as you walk down a meandering path into a small clearing. Before you, a forest temple becomes visible. As you get closer, it feels that the chanting is penetrating deep into your soul. Everything seems to be shifting within you. Everything is the same, yet everything is somehow different. Meditate on the light within you and around you. Connect with the ever-present energy of the divine. Right now your awareness is increasing. Your ability to understand the world is shifting. More and more you can see situations from all viewpoints, all points of view, and this creates an expansion in all parts of your life. This card can also reflect times when you are seeing the world from only your personal point of consciousness, which is dramatically restricting possibilities for you. A one-sided adamant view of life can block a vast influx of light, joy and connection to the creator. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding your life. Now, I'm just as I'm reading this, my mind is starting to focus back on this protection card. Now, I don't want that to happen because I want to be completely focused. So this may have happened to you too, so I'm just calling it out. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding your life. Be willing to step outside your limited points of view and see the world from others' perspectives and your life will expand. In temples throughout the world, initiates withdrew from their surroundings in order to gain an expanded perception of the inner reality of life. Intuition and healing abilities emerge during these times. Light is flooding into your life now with enlightenment. You'll feel the expansion from a limited sense of self to an awareness of the cosmos around you. The spirit of the forest temple says positive changes are coming. You are lightened up. Feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about who you are and what you deserve in life are falling away, replaced by incredible new paths. So there is a lot going on in my body right now, and particularly my lower back is being indicated and my knees. You know, if you're, if you're thinking about protecting yourself, which is that first card, um, my body is doing that in, in essence. This healing card is the spiritual tool that helps move beyond the obstacle. And so it is about enlightenment, enlightenment and it is about expansion, about expanding from the personal take on things to an expanded viewpoint where all viewpoints are able to be accessed. So that's a that's a quite an interesting but challenging card. And I suppose this is this is what the challenge talks about that because I feel like I need to protect myself, I'm not opening up myself to as much of the expansion as I could be. So there's a there's a new level of expansion here that I am able to access, but it's not currently being accessed by me. And the, the only upright card that I have drawn is the Storm Spirit Chaos, which, you know, 
excellent i'm loving the energies in this particular reading i just want to laugh there is a a storm um creator in this this particular image and sometimes you know you use these these decks in your readings and sometimes you you don't even notice because you're instantly you're instantly taken to the whole thing and you don't perceive the the smaller details which is the the figure the male figure that i'm looking at here this card is the outcome card the card on the right represents how the situation be, will be resolved if you follow the advice given to the pre in the previous two cards storm spirit number 42 chaos a fierce and massive storm has overtaken the forest trees are whipping back and forth a torrent of rain pounds your head and shoulders crashes of thunder shake the earth as ragged shards of lightning illuminate the dark woods this card acknowledges potential chaos or the need for chaos awesome we love chaos not it's like the tower card as an activator for healing in your life oh my goodness spiritual chaos allows for the dissolution of of outmoded beliefs so beliefs so expansive energetic life force energy can fill your life now that makes sense with these two cards here because it talks about you know if you're holding on to things if you're holding on to the belief that you're not protected that you're not supported or that i'm not and perhaps you are if you're watching this it means you can't expand and if you look at this card i'm just seeing the, it's quite an interesting thing here that the green over here and then the amber colors they're mirrored in these two cards you know so this is about the chaos of letting it all the storm bring the two together <clears throat> that's an interesting thing and my throat is going as i'm talking if you're experiencing upheaval right now know that the underlying energy is restorative and i definitely am experiencing upheaval embrace it rather than deny or suppress it you are being healed on all levels of course take time to find the calm in the storm but also understand that the chaos can be beneficial in many ways it can activate your creative life force alternatively if your life is too calm to the point of being stagnant this card suggests that it might be time to create some chaos in your life try doing things differently step out of old routines if you're always early be late beneath the surface profound shifts of, and transformations are occurring and i've got a lot of heat rising up in my body right now allow many although many assume that nothing good comes from a massive storm every part of nature has value for example down down trees provide habitats for many kinds of animals and lightning helps fertilize the soil there is enough electrical energy in lightning to separate the nitrogen atoms in the air which fall to the earth with the rain and combine with minerals to form nitrates a type of fertilizer look for the silver lining in the current upheaval the spirit of the storm says shred outmoded thinking and self-imposed blockages Tear down walls of self-imposed limitations. Step into chaos and embrace it rather than trying to suppress it. Do the unexpected. Okay, and that's it kind of relates very much to this reading because this reading um, wasn't planned and I picked this deck up and I was very much like, what am I using this for? Because I was making videos about sacred path cards. The last reading that I did, which was about the four directions, I think that was it brought up some stuff that i wanted to work on more but it didn't feel like there was um a spread in there to work with it and this because it's all about sort of the problem that's occurring in your life a blockage that needs healing and how to heal it um you know was the perfect one that spirit directed me to the way that i can resolve this is to let in more is to stop protecting myself and and limiting the amount of spiritual energy that comes in you know because it does create some chaos because like i said i didn't know why i was picking this card up um now obviously when i'm doing a reading for somebody else this stuff is not as apparent it doesn't get in my way it doesn't block me in the same way on a different level it is still stopping me from accessing everything that i can this this extreme state of enlightenment i like how i called it extreme 
you know, because that card is about letting more light in and that's the message of that card and expanding, you know, the point of view and, you know, just looking at that card, even upside down. There's this beautiful golden glow and everything is sort of pointing to it. Everything's radiating out from it and it is lighting up the heart of the person that is in the front there. And that is really the the challenge when I come to this spiritual <laughs> spiritual expansion. She also has a Holy Grail in her hand. And that was in one of the other readings as well. So again, if you're, if you're not playing along with me, you might need to go back and watch some of the videos if you're interested. So the, the Holy Grail, you know, opening up to the spiritual to spiritual enlightenment and to the expansion that spirituality and and opening up to spirit has to offer i love that that green heart is just glowing like that beautiful door of that temple the forest temple this this idea of a temple has come up in some of my meditations as well yeah there's there's a lot here for me to to sort of work with and i'm going to turn that back up now because i feel like that there's there's an unlocking for me in in the message here which i really do like i'm going to keep the guardians of the land reversed because this message is one that i need to keep working with i need to stop working on on feeling so that i need protection and that i need to 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 control that's what this card is about it's about control and to clear that and that challenge I will need to open up more and that might feel very chaotic for me it might feel like chaos very interesting messages from these particular cards and I am actually going to take a bit of a segue into Denise's Sacred Forest Oracle and start looking at some more of the spreads in this particular guidebook because there's a few more here that I that I want to try out if you're following along with me, this is where we're going next. Thank you for being here. As usual, if you'd like a private reading, there is a link in the description box below. And follow me on my other social media. They will be in the links in the description box below. Thanks for being here. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.